Hi everyone, it's Nick Pavlov here with you. So a new Power BI update came out this morning. That's the March 2024 update. Last month, Microsoft released the new visual calculations feature, which is definitely going to change the way we use DAX. Now, I personally got really excited about this feature and today I wanted to focus on it a bit more. Especially because in the new March update, Microsoft introduced the ability to create and edit visual calculations in the cloud, in Power BI service. That's a big deal. Now, a visual calculation is a DAX calculation that is defined and executed directly on a visual. So it does not exist in your data model. You can create separate visual calculations directly in a visual. This is how it works. First, you need to activate the preview feature in the options and settings. And then you will see this button right here. It says new calculation. Here's my sample report, wide world importers. I have month and total sales. From here, I can select the visual, right click and choose new calculation. And then I can start creating calculations. Please watch my video from last month where I show how to create visual calculations. But today, I won't be creating visual calculations in Power BI Desktop. Instead, I will publish the report as is. Click save, publish, whatever and go to Power BI Desktop. Once I'm here, I see a normal report without any visual calculations. But if I have edit access, which I do, I can click edit. Then I will right click to a report and then I can create new calculations. So from here, I can go to formula and then I can create running total. Replace the field with total sales, just like that, and then click OK. And then this new calculation will be added to my table right away. So this calculation lives only in this visual. It's not in the model. It's not even in the desktop. So I don't have to worry about changing a version of my file. I don't have to worry about breaking any existing DAX calculations. I don't even have to save this file. I can look at the data, analyze it right now, and then just remove it if I so choose. So this gives a lot of flexibility to end users. So this is something that I wanted to share with you from the March 2024 Power BI update. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you later.